What's going on, friends and family? I'm sorry if I sound a little bit hoarse or airy. Uh, my vocal cords are so fucked, dude. I uh, recently, I just played a game called Street Warriors. Uh, and before that, I played a game kind of in like an encompassing genre. You know, this whole like brawler melee PvP type of genre thing uh, called Versus Gladiator something. Fuck. I don't know. Uh, and then I have over the course of me working at uh, or freelancing across a lot of different uh, websites, namely, though, freemmostation.com. I've played a lot of these games in this genre, and this is a genre that I really do like, and I want to succeed. Genuinely. I've played a lot of games. Hands are, uh, Beer Zerkers, uh, the ones I just named already. We've also got Chronix, which, uh, man, all these games, dude. Archblade, there's so many games that are just not fucking good, but they totally could be good. <laughs> they could be good, okay? Even even some of the games that are admittedly like the one you're watching right now, which looks like garbage, and probably to most people is just flat out garbage, it could still be kind of fun, in, you know, in a LAN situation. You bring it to a LAN party, you know, whatever, just hook it up, and you guys just kind of have some fun. Maybe even if they allowed us to kind of modify it, we could do some crazy shit with mutators and things, and we could have some good times. Now, back in the day, back in the day, you know, Xbox days, when, when LAN and arcade was hype in, in most places, we had shit like that. We, we could modify our games and we could do some crazy shit. You know, Quake, a uh, big game, Unreal, you know, a lot of those kind of games. Uh, and this isn't just for the genre that I, I'm showing the video about. So this isn't just for the genre that we're, well, I'm going to be making an example of. There's some other games that have had these faults that have basically made what could have been at least a decent game. Maybe, maybe not a good game, but at least it could have been fun for a single sitting for a single, you know, could I could have spent, you know, five bucks to play this game at a LAN party or event. It would have been worth it for that one, you know, sitting. Um, but then they don't have these features that allow us to do those things. So, uh, you know, games like Blacklight Retribution and Tribes Ascend, both supposed AAA free-to-play games, were very late at enabling uh, server browsers, and none of them, neither of them, and basically almost no free-to-play FPS that I've seen has allowed for LAN, actual LAN gameplay, other than, uh, like, Team Fortress 2, but that's actually a good game, right? So, uh, this is also really prolific for this brawler genre, and you would, you would fucking think that a genre that is essentially dead online, nobody plays these games, guys, I'm like, for a game that's dead online, you would think they would at least have server browsers, so then we could consistently play with the same people, or at least find people faster. Matchmaking is garbage. Uh, no, they don't even have server browsers half the time. No, more than half the time. The majority of the time. Uh, and they do not allow for LAN. Now, this is just a small little thing that would make free-to-play games, period, so good, but it would really help a lot of these smaller games and these really niche genres. There are some genres that, are like, by their nature, they just not many people are going to play them. They're just weird, right? Uh, and that's a lot of party games. A lot of party games are just really fucking niche, dude. And so nobody plays them. But yeah, at the same time, I mean, at least party games, you can play them shared screen, right? So that makes sense. At least you can couch co-op. But these games that I'm showing you right now, these fucking ugly games that you might play once, you could potentially have fun with them once. If you could actually, you know, land, if you could actually find a server, if you actually play with a fucking human being, you might be able to have fun. It's, and it really sucks because I've done a lot of these first impressions and I might have actually had fun in my first impressions. I'm pretty sure the one with Versus wasn't so, it wasn't so bad. I really could see myself playing that game as a land. And in fact, if you go on Free MMO Station and look at my first impression, I believe I end the video by saying, I really wish that they enabled me, uh, the, uh, gave me the option so that I could spend maybe like five bucks to purchase a land client of the game. I would honestly spend that money. Now, Blacklight Retribution allows you to rent servers, and I think Tribes Ascend allows you to do the same thing. You can purchase tokens, and uh, I know Guild Wars 2 does the same thing for PvP. You can kind of rent server time. That makes a lot of sense. That kind of works, though they implemented those things very fucking late. I would still really like the ability to LAN. However, I know you can heavily mod it then, and then you could probably just have all the cosmetics that you want, and you could probably do a lot of weird shit with Hamachi, and then play online with private servers. I understand that, but like, dude, there's a reason why Quake Live went from free to play to buy to play, uh, so that it would move over to different systems, and you know, it, it kind of just works more competitively that way. Uh, and more games need to do this. More games, firstly, need better LAN support. But just more. It just fucking give us the ability to LAN. I cannot believe that we don't have this. Free-to-play games that tend to be multiplayer only, that tend to be inherently competitive, like these brawlers and these FPSs, 
How how are you just going to let your game die? How are you just going to do that? Like, what is the point of publishing this game? And you're spending all this money on these monetizations and everything. So, I mean, of course, I know it has to be online. But why don't you give us monetization options to just outright buy the games? Why don't you give us options to just play it land? Give us these server options. Why is why does it, the games have to be in this set, stagnant space? You're alienating a lot of your audience. So for me, I love, let's say, let's say I fucking would love, fall in love with Versus, or maybe even this stupid game in the background. What if I love this game, and I just want to play with a bunch of friends at a birthday party or some shit? Dude, you don't know. You don't know me. Anyways, uh, wh why, why are you alienating me? I would spend $5. I would give you $5. Uh, but in its current state, since there's like no players playing it, and really the game just has overall lackluster monetization, you're getting fucking nothing out of me. Then again, I'm pretty picky. If you guys have seen my uh, deals, my weekly deals, and you know my Steam deals uh, videos, I'm pretty picky. But I think a lot of people are going to agree that you know if you look at the cosmetics and shit at a game like Guild Wars 2 or League of Legends or Dota, that 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 monetization is really really good. It is. It's pretty fucking good. Uh, <laughs> But then, I just can't believe it. Now, some games can get away. Some games can get away without having a server selector or something like that. Maybe just because they know they're going to be super popular, okay? It doesn't give them a pass. But when games like this, which have really no saving grace, I really think that instead of just spamming different cosmetics and, you know, different purchasables and making the game pay to win, which this game is pseudo pay to win, or maybe completely, I didn't get to play it too much and God knows I wasn't going to, um... It just really is, it fucking sucks that they're spending more time, th like, they're thinking too ahead, too many eggs in the basket or some shit, I don't know, I'm dumb. Um, <laughs> like, instead of making just the fundamentals of game design, the fundamentals of what a multiplayer game should have, okay, LAN, okay, it doesn't have to have split screen, I understand that, uh, but LAN, at least, let us download the game and play with other players connected to the same network, it's a multiplayer game, it could be, especially in a brawling game, you know, a 1v1 type of game, it could be cool. It could be fun. You know, a little party game. It could be cool. But nah, uh, they, they, they got rid of their, their fundamentals. They don't give a fuck. They're just going to go for the quick money. It's a cash grab, basically. You can see that there's really no love put into the game. There's like, there's somebody probably at this studio probably had kind of a cool concept. Oh, let's make a real street fighting game. That could be cool. You know, actual street fights. Yeah, I mean, San Andreas actually had a deeper fucking combat system than this game. Uh, then again, that was a triple-A huge game, um, but that also had focused on gun mechanics, so pretty pretty weird. Um, this game has, like, the like hints. It has fucking hints of what a really good game could be. And it really sucks that this game is sitting at mixed reviews, because honestly, a lot of people just aren't going to play this game. They're going to see the game, they're going to look at it, and they're going to be like, oh, this is not actually really a game at all. This looks like it should be on the fucking Dreamcast, and not in a good, charming way, either. No. <laughs> it looks bad, and so people, they, they don't have any ambition, they don't have any passion, no, they don't, they don't have anything. They don't feel any emotion playing this game, they don't think they're, it's not competitive, so there, there's, you know, there is no ambition or passion to climb ranks or anything like that, and there's no, there's no desire as just a consumer, as a, as a player, a video game player, to play the game or master it, because there's, there is nothing really there to master at all. There's a hint of a kind of a cool concept, but that's it. That's probably why they played the downloaded the game. But for the most part, people are going to instantaneously delete the game, remove it, just based off of how ugly and horrible it looks, and just like basically everything, every small thing that could go wrong. Now, if only one of these, you know, if there's only one issue, like maybe the game just kind of started up at, you know, wrong resolution. Maybe the sound effects are just a little bit harsh. Maybe the game, you know, it's, it's models don't look quite uh, right. But no, this game has every small little detail just fucked up, and so it just bombards your eyeballs, feels like needles stinging your brain, and there are people, players like me, just uh, they piece the fuck out and they don't even leave a review. However, I'm paid to do like first impressions and stuff, so I've got to play the game. And these kind of games bait a lot of press. They really do. We play them and we have to do videos on them and it fucking sucks because they're not good games. And, and like, I mean, at least it's playable. Hey, at least I do play the game and it's not auto playing. So there's, there's a thing. I guess maybe you shouldn't leave a negative review, but the thing is a lot, of, a lot of players probably would leave negative reviews. But there is absolutely no, there, there is no reason to, there, there's no emotion that I feel, that they feel, that anybody feels about this game. It's just a game that happens to exist. Maybe some stupid, ignorant, dumb kid might spend some money, maybe, uh, but for the most part, everybody's just going to literally forget about the game while they are in, uninstalling it. They want to forget about the game. There is no 
thing, there's nothing to this game that makes it memorable, that leaves me with any sort of feeling whatsoever. I just want to forget it. I just want to forget it. And that really sucks because this is a genre that I really like. Now, this is going to spread out to the surrounding genres and genres that are kind of similar. So, like I said, competitive FPS. Uh, we really need fundamental things, okay? If you want to make a multiplayer only game, regardless of what the mechanics are, the aesthetic, no matter what that shit is, you need to make sure that it actually is multiplayer and that we actually have the social interaction and that we can actually play with each other. Because if that's not there, then it doesn't matter how much customization you have. It doesn't matter what, uh, you know, what outfits I can equip. It doesn't matter what fucking I can do in the game. If I can't actually do it with other players, then I'm not actually playing the game. So fucking sucks, dude. Give us land. That's all I'm saying. Done with the rant. Anyways, I just really had to make uh, this gameplay worth it because I feel like I honestly wasted my time. Even though I was paid for my time, I feel not good. feel kind of sick to my stomach. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Skylint. I really do hope you guys have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.